Hi guys, today I wanted to show you a, an example of damage indication to the user using a Voronoi diagram. So what we have here is a value, which is um, HP ratio for the player. So let's imagine we have a player in the middle of the screen, and that would be his health between 0 and 1. Now as the health goes down, you can see that the vision gets kind of, um, well, blurry and it makes it difficult for the player to see around him. Now, as the value gets to closer to zero, we don't see um, much. So as the um, HP goes up, you can see more of it and that's the sort of idea for damage indication to the user of the game. Now this is um, something, this is an idea that I've had in mind for quite some time because in many games, especially um, first person shooters, you see this kind of effect when you get hit, the, um, the player gets hurt, you can see less of the visible area in the game. Right, on to now how this is implemented. So what I've used is a Voronoi diagram um, which is something that I've been working with uh, for quite some time, which is um, basically a partition of the plane, um, as Wikipedia says, into um, regions, so-called sites. So here, each polygon is a site, um, as called by some of the algorithms. Each site is bounded by edges that were generated as part of the um, Voronoi tessellation that is done on this um, 2D space. 2D space being this window, basically, um, a rectangle with width of 800 and height of 600. So each site, each region in the plane, is bounded by these edges and by traversing the edges, which is basically taking both points, both sides of the edges, and then um, sticking them together and continuing to do so until you run out of edges, is you end up with um, a closed region, um, region of the plane, basically, that can be converted to a polygon by using those points that are vertices of the edges. So once you've obtained polygons, um, you can then um, do something like this. So what we need is the opacity, or what we need is to change the opacity based on player health and the distance between polygon and the player. So imagine if the player is in the middle. I've chosen this uh, middle point because presumably your um, user interface is going to follow the player in a, say, platform game. Now what you want is the inverse ratio, pretty much, because as health goes up, the opacity goes down. So as um, health approaches 100%, you can see everything, which means um, all polygons are transparent. But we also want to change the opacity of each polygon depending on how far it is from the player. Which means you need to compute the distance between polygon and the center point. You can do that by um, computing first the centroid of the polygon, which is a geometric center of that polygon. And then that gives you a distance to um, basically another point, which is in the middle. Using that distance, you can then uh, multiply the ratio, which is minus uh, 1 minus the health, um, which gives you a good kind of uh, good approximate value for how um, much the opacity, uh, what the opacity ratio you should use for the polygon. So, yeah, this is basically the demo. Um, I'm planning to integrate this into FXGL so that you don't have to do 
anything apart from just calling a single function. Um, you'll probably pass in some sort of space, rectangular, um, rectangle 2D, for example. So that would be your rectangle. And um, I'm assuming you'll be getting back a list of polygons that you can then use in um, or for for various reasons in your game. Another use case um, that I've had in mind was using this for level transition. So imagine if um, these polygons can kind of partition the image, which is the image of the level. So for example, the level has just started. We take a snapshot of that into a JavaFX image. We then partition that image into these polygons. And then each polygon will randomly appear from, say, or drop down from the top. And that will create a nice effect, or at least it's nice in my mind. I'm not sure how it's going to work out once implemented. But it's one of the use cases that I'm going to work for um, for the next time. Uh, feel free to kind of contribute your own use cases. And also do check out the um, FXGL library. It's, um, I would say it's solid by now. Um, you can build quite a range of games at the moment. And it will be um, improving from now on as well. And that was it for this demo. Thanks for watching.